Hello everyone. Today we have another question on triangles, which is a proving question. In the given figure, triangle ABC is an equilateral triangle in which PR is parallel to AC. So PR is parallel to AC and it's an equilateral triangle. So all the sides are equal to each other and all the angles are equal to each other. If AC is produced to D such that CD is equals to BP, then prove that PC is bisected by RD at point Q. So first of all, whatever data was given to me in the question, I've translated it into my figure. And I'll also decode my two proof statement which says PC is bisected by RD. So if I am able to prove PQ is equals to QC, I'll be able to prove that PC is getting bisected by RD. Now, just come to the triangles which consist of PQ and QC. So that is triangle PQR and triangle QCT. If somehow I'm able to prove them congruent, I will be able to prove PQ equals to QC by CPCT because they'll be the corresponding parts of the congruent triangles. It will be a good idea that you pause the video and try your question. To prove congruence, we need to prove three elements which are respectively equal to each other. So the very first element that is evident is the vertically opposite angles. So we can say angle RQP is equals to angle CQD by vertically opposite angles. The second element, let's use the parallel lines here. So if RP is parallel to AD, so we can say that angle PRQ is equals to angle CDQ by alternate inferior angles. So angle PRQ is equals to angle CDQ by alternate interior angles. We are still short of one more element and that should, has to, that should be a side to either use ASA or AAS congruence criteria. PQ and QC we can't use because this is something that we have to prove. RQ and QD are really isolated parts. They have no relationship that we can prove right now. Coming and falling to RP and CD. CD is given equals to BP. If somehow we are able to prove BP equals to RP, we'll have a corresponding relation with CD too. So let's try and work out with RP and BP. If I have to prove them equal, I need to use some property of the triangle in RBP. So in triangle RBP, angle B is 60 degrees because it is an equilateral triangle. Right? And angle C is 60. So angle P over here is also 60 by corresponding angles. These lines were parallel. So can I say angle R is also 60 degrees by angle sum property? Of course, yes. So all these three angles become 60. In fact, it is an equilateral triangle now. So all these three sides are equal. So we get that BP equals to RP. BP was also equals to CD, which was given to me. Hence, RP equals to CD. Let's use this here in our congruence. RP equals to CD proved. So triangle PRQ is congruent to triangle CDQ. Let's see if our correspondence is correct. Q with Q, angle R with D and P with C. So we can say that PQ equals to QC by CPCT, hence proved. Thank you.